mastermind of the Craigslist killings will soon be heading to death row. A Summit County judge agreed with the jury's recommendation and sentenced Richard Beasley to death. News Channel 5's Bob Jones is live in our Summit County newsroom. And Bob, I understand it was very emotional today in court. That's right, Danita. Richard Beasley, you have to remember, destroyed so many lives. And today the victims' families had a chance to confront him in the courtroom. And they finally got the justice they've been waiting for since 2011 and imposes the sentence of death on each of those counts. If the families of the Craigslist murder victims were hoping for an admission of guilt after Beasley was sentenced to death, they didn't get it. I say here today, officially and for the record, I have killed nobody. The defendant's statement was pretty much what we would expect. Uh, I can only say that the arrogance continues. Um, just disgusting. He was just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, I, I can't believe the guy would still carry on. Beasley was forced to listen to an earful from Scott Davis, the only man shot by Beasley who lived to tell about it. You say you know God, not yet. Not even the best lawyer's money can buy could get Satan off for murder. Beasley, a self-proclaimed preacher, lured David Pauley, Ralph Geiger, and Timothy Kern through a fake Craigslist ad and then shot them and buried their bodies. In court today, their families talked about their heartache and sleepless nights and their disgust for the cold-blooded killer. Every time I hear you referred to as a preacher, chaplain, or man of God, I'm sickened. No true man of God would take lives. This is a great day for the victims' families. Uh, I'm hopeful that they will have some measure of peace now that this death sentence has been handed down. He's on the ground and I'll be satisfied. Then I'll say closure, but, you know, it was a long, tough 16 months. And Richard Beasley was actually given three death sentences, each for every one of the murder victims in this case. Co-defendant Brogan Rafferty is not old enough to get a death sentence. He is serving a sentence of life in prison without the chance of parole. Live in the Summit County Newsroom at the Akron Beacon Journal, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.